Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Now before I get into the featured bot of this video, I wanted to show off my brand new design from my Patriot Prime Reviews Teespring shop. This is the PPR Logo Pocket Tee. As you can see, I've got my Patriot Prime logo right there on the left side, and on the back of the shirt is Patriot Prime Reviews. So these shirts are up right now on my Teespring store. Check it out in the description below. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Huffer. Now I got Huffer here thanks to 80s toys of Princeton, West Virginia. So not only did I get a brand new figure for my collection, I also shopped locally. So now let's take a quick look at Huffer in the packaging. You've got Huffer here in robot mode behind the plastic and some fantastic artwork of Huffer in robot mode and truck mode racing through a lava field. So that is really cool. I love the artwork for these kingdom figures. We need a new art book, Hasbro, now. On the back of the box, we got Huffer in robot mode and vehicle mode. Side of the box, we've got more kingdom artwork, and that's about it. So now, without further ado, let's get Huffer opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Huffer all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card that, once again, is Optimus Prime. We've got Optimus Prime here on the front. And peel this back. It's the same picture, just darker. It seems that these are the only cards I'm getting right now. Huffer also comes with a blaster and a shield. So now let's take a closer look at Huffer himself. My first impression with Kingdom Huffer was, wow, this guy looks spot on to his G1 cartoon counterpart, aside from maybe a few color variations, but the figure just looks great. I mean, fantastic sculpted details. I mean, check out that head sculpt. That looks awesome. Great paint application as well. You got a silver face. Red Autobot logo right there. You got blue painted eyes that kind of have a metallic look to them. He's got his signature cylinder arms. Details down here on the waist and crotch. More sculpted details there on the legs. And all the way down the shins. You got some wheels there. I mean, the figure looks really, really good. I was impressed with this guy. He's got a clear window in the back, as you can see. Now, articulation for Huffer, the head is on a ball joint and can do a complete 360, but it's really hard to get to in his little hood right there. So you're just going to have to take my word for it on that. The arms can go up and down. They can also do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend. There is an elbow rotation and no wrist rotation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go out and in, back and forward. There is a knee bend and 
ankle tilts. So Huffer here's got lots of great posability and really not much of a backpack. He's got some massive heel spurs that help maintain his top heaviness. Top heaviness. Uh, hell, that's a word I'm not going to come up with right now. Now, as far as his weapons are concerned, he comes with this blaster. That looks really good, orange and gray. So you can put that in his hand. And he has this shield. I don't know what it is with all these kingdom figures and shields. So you can put it on his arm like so. This is how he's shown on the artwork. Or I like to have it this way. It actually looks like he has a big extra punching fist, kind of like Fisto from Masters of the Universe. I dig that look. So there is Huffer in robot mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. Now the first thing we're going to do is remove the weaponry. We'll take the gun out of this hand and remove the shield. You're going to take the arms and kind of bring the arms back like so, and then bring them down. Now you're going to bring the chest forward, and this will enable you to take the head and do a complete 180. I told you that head rotated. Now you're going to flip these wheels down. I love how the wheels are hidden in robot mode. Now when you bring these down, you will make sure the wheels clear this little tab because they can get hung up right there and these wheels pop off really easy. So once they clear that tab, there we go, you're going to bring the chest back up. You gotta kind of manipulate these arms out of the way because what you want to do is enable clearance to pop that hood back down. Now there is a little tab right there on the arm that you want to tab in right there on the waist. So get that tabbed in here and there on the other side. It's kind of a pain to get them lined up just right. So you got those tabbed in. Now rotate the arms around so you got this other tab right there or slot that matches up to the tab on the back of the cab. Line those up. So now you've got that going on. Now you're going to take the fists and just fold down. So the front of the vehicle is finished. Now for the legs, we're going to take the feet, bring those down, press the legs together. You'll hear them snap. And now there is, let's see here. Trying to find, there they are. There are tabs right there that's going to line up to those slots right there. So get those lined up. Squeeze everything together. Make sure this diamond plate area is squeezed together. And there we have Huffer in vehicle mode. Make sure he's all locked in place. Now you're going to take the shield and the shield will line up with these holes right here on the back. Get those pegged in. Now you're going to take the gun, and this is really cool. Take the gun. There's a little spot right here. Get your thumbnail in and just split the gun in half. Now you've got these slots right there that line up to the slots right there on the gun. Line those up. Always hard to do on camera. There we go, there's one and the other. And there we have Huffer in vehicle mode. And he looks really good. The only problem is he's not perfectly straight. He's got kind of a little angle right there. And when you try to straighten him, he untabs. So you just kind of deal with it. Great looking vehicle mode. I love the details here on the front the grill, the lights, the bumper, and even has painted windshield wipers. He's got clear plastic windows, and surprisingly, these don't bother me near as much as the others because you can see there's no robot junk on the inside. Usually with these clear windows, you can see all the joints and pins and pistons. Huffer, that's not bad looking at all. Great details there on the tires, the uh, smokestacks, I wish there was a little bit more detail right there, at least painted detail inside the gun half. But other than that, this thing looks great. Even has little taillights there on the back. 
and he, he rolls decent enough for not having a perfectly straight base. Now, the big question is, does Earthrise, or now Kingdom, Optimus Prime's trailer work with Huffer? Well, you do have to take the guns and shield off. So you kind of have just this base tractor or cab mode. And yes, well, let me remove my adapter here. Plug that right in. And now you've got Huffer transporting Optimus Prime's trailer. So that is really cool. I dig it. There's so many people that like that look from just that one episode of G1. So now we'll compare Kingdom Huffer with his Generation 1 counterpart. And yes, Huffer has come a long way. So there you go, guys. One final look at Huffer in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Huffer, and War for Cybertron Kingdom Warpath. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer is a great figure. He is one of the best deluxes that we've got so far in the line, in my opinion. He's got a great robot mode, a great vehicle mode, and awesome Generation 1 throwbacks. I love this figure. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic figure and a real surprise for me. I mean, this guy, he just knocks it out of the park. I barely have anything to complain about with the figure. My biggest one is the fact that in vehicle mode, he's bowed just a little bit. But still, that doesn't really take anything away from this awesome figure. And I don't think we've had a decent Huffer in years. In fact, the only Huffer I have ever bought was the original Generation 1 version. Every other one, I think, is just repaints of, like, Legend Class Optimus Primes. But this guy, this guy is awesome. So you see this one on the shelf. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And also, please, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, Please do so. I am trying my best to reach 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!